Hello everybody. Observe the way how your hands and legs move. Why is it that we can move some body parts in all directions and few in one direction only? A place where two or more bones are joined together is called a joint. The bones are held together at the joints by strong tissues called ligaments. There are mainly three types of joints. Immovable or fixed joints, slightly movable or cartilaginous joints, freely movable or perfect joints or synovial joints. Immovable joints do not allow any movement. They are usually found between the bones of the skull, in the joints between the upper jaw and the rest of the head and joints in the tooth sockets. Slightly movable joints allow very little movement. You can find these joints in the joints of the carpals, in the joints between adjacent vertebrae in the backbone and also in the joints between the ribs and the breastbone. Freely movable joints or synovial joints. It allows the free movement of bones. They have synovial fluid present in them which helps in the free movement of bones and they are mainly of three types. Pivot joint. Pivot joint allows rotation only. In this joint the rounded surface of one bone fits into a ring formed by the other bone so that one bone is able to rotate over the other in a ring ball and socket joint. In this joint, the ball-like end of one bone fits into a cup-like cavity of the other bone. This allows movement in all directions. We see these joints in a hips and in a shoulder. Hinge joint. This joint allows movement in one direction only, similar to the hinges of a door. Examples, elbow joint between the upper and the lower arm, knee joint between the thigh and the lower leg, wrist joint between the forearm and the wrist. Gliding joint. This joint allows bones to glide over each other so that side to side as well as backward and forward movement can take place. Only slight movement takes place in this joint. Examples are joints between the bones of the ankle and the wrist. Have you seen people using weights while exercising? They use weights to develop their muscles. Muscles are attached to the bones. This makes it possible for the bones to move at the joints. The muscular system consists of muscles which are joined to the bones with the help of tendons and help in the body movement. The muscles cover the entire skeleton. Muscles have the property of contraction and relaxation. It is this property of muscles which is responsible for the movement of bones. Muscles work in pairs for the movement of a bone. When one of the muscles contracts, the bone is pulled in its direction and the other muscle relaxes. Next, the relaxed muscle contracts and pulls the bone back to its original position while the first muscle relaxes. Do you know there are about 656 skeletal muscles in a body? Children, it takes 37 muscles to frown, 17 to smile, so smile always. To know about the movements in vertebrates, click on the link given. Thank you.